so let's go I want to show you how I went from this bonnet to bombshell in a quick second um, I made this wig using this milky wave hair this uh, wig cap a scissors some glue and optional is spritz but I like to use spritz so use a plastic cap to cover your hair to protect your hair from the glue place the wig cap on top of the plastic cap and we're gonna start with the longest length first so I'm just gonna remove one strip or one piece of hair from the longest bundle and I will use that for my sideburns I'm cut cutting like a few pieces for the side I think I did three pieces for each side and I did three pieces in the back and the spritz help the spritz really really help so that the glue sticks to the wig cap faster so you can move faster when you're making the wig so I'm, I'm, I'm using the longest pieces um, in the back as well because I want to ensure that the hair covers and hides my natural hair underneath and I can uh, have a nice tapered cut so I use three pieces of the longest piece at the back and at both sides and this is what it looks like so I'm gonna put that um, the longest piece away for now and I'm going in with the shortest length this is the shortest length and I'm going up in my regular u-shape or um, horseshoe pattern uh, how I don't know if you're familiar with any of these terms but it's just going up from side to side measuring from side to side cut glue and just keep going and I'm placing each track as close together as possible because I want the wig to be full and we have a lot of hair to work with so just place each piece um, as close to the uh, the last track as possible and we're going from ear to ear um, like I said in a horseshoe pattern making your way up and in no time you can see that the wig has already started to take shape it looks awesome already and we're not even done yet I'm still on my shortest length right here I'm using every piece of the shortest length all of it and then as soon as I'm done with the shortest length I'm going in with the middle length I'm not using the longest length yet I'm saving that for the top so all I'm doing is measuring from ear to ear cut and glue and this is what I have so far and yes I'm just now starting the second longest bunch and I'm still going up from ear to ear that's all I do I spritz and I cut and glue that's all I do it's so easy anybody can do this very very easy so I'm just going to leave y'all here to watch and I'll come back when I need to say something but for right now we're just doing the same thing measure cut glue measure cut glue Alright y'all, so I want to put the longest pieces at the front. I want to use the arch of my eyebrow to kind of give me an outline as to where I want to start with the longest pieces. And um, I'm just trying to see where I would put my closure. I want my closure all the way in the back and I'm back with my longest piece and I'm just going from side to side. That's all I'm doing for the top. I'm about to close. I'm done with my um, my shortest length I'm done with the middle length I'm going in with the longest length at the front and I'm starting with my bang area and I'm just going from side to side side to side until I get to a small opening at the back of my hair where I will place my closure and again I'm leaving so you guys can watch and I'm gonna be quiet yes bye So the hair is finished. I'm just going to comb through to make sure everything is nice and smooth and there's no glue on the hair. And it's, it's best to comb through before you start razoring. I'm going to remove the cap and I'm going to remove the plastic cap that's underneath. 
it comes out very easily very easily I'm just gonna place the wig back on my head make sure I line up the sideburns line up everything everything is good and I'm just gonna start cut cut and shape I like to start with my ear first so I like to cut around my ear and then I like to start shaving from the side so I shave both sides and the back and I leave the top I like a nice layered um, or uh, yes I like a nice tapered back I like the sides to be nice and short and I like nice full top so that is what I'm doing right now and again I'm just gonna let you guys watch while I stop talking okay As you can see right here the wig is taking a awesome shape I'm just using my scissors to cut um, a little bit in the front I'm using the longest side of the razor to shave this hair down not the shortest side the shortest side is used to cut and the shortest side will make a hole in your wig if you decide to use the shortest side use the longest side it's used to taper the wig and cut the wig down so I'm using the longest side of the razor to comb this wig down and just take your time don't rush and it will start to take shape and it will be beautiful take your time no rush I'm now at the end of my wig making and I'm just combing to see if everything is in place if I need to cut any more checking the length and I think this is it I think I am done and I'm satisfied um, yes so this is the end result, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will be back shortly So this is how the wig turned out. I wanted to keep the style as simple as possible because I wanted to do like a beginner friendly um, wig tutorial. Get a lot of questions about if I use all the hair and um, how many pieces I use in the back. So I wanted to do a very detailed um, wig make it to me. Made sure I showed y'all everything that I do in the back and yes I use all the hair and um, I wanted to keep this style as simple simple as possible I didn't want to do too much with the um, with cutting and shape basically focus on um, shaping the sides and the back and I kept the, the top long um, this is how I normally wear my hair I love 
um, this is like my go-to style this is how I always style my wig this is very cheap hair um, I don't know if you can add any heat to this I wouldn't try to have to add heat um, but if you do when it turns out good let me know <laughs> let me know but I'm not I don't think you should do that so I left the back nice and tapered um, this is how I like to have the back of my wig this is why I, I put the longest length in the back so I can have this tapered look and if you start with the shortest length then your hair will start to sh your hair will show underneath the wig like your natural hair will show um, when you put the wig on so it's good to start with the longest length so you can hide your natural hair and just have um, the wig cover everything and I'll show you what the sides look like as well I also uh, use the longest length at the side because I like a nice long side long pieces at both sides and at the back and then I just kind of put the long pieces away and then um, go back into it when I get to the top so I just use a few pieces just for the size and just for the back I really 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 hope you guys like it let me know how you feel give me a thumbs up see you next time